What is going on, dudes? Yeah, it's it's Deadbolt here, bringing back some more Atomic Heart. In the last episode, we we beat a Hog Seven. I think that's the name of those bots. It was the big round boy. Man, it was tough. We finally got the Dominator. That's what we used to beat it. And now, uh, I don't know what we're doing actually. We kind of just beat it, and oh, we got a waypoint. Okay, we're going through the the arena. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, we got this cool weapon. It's an energy weapon. Seems to do a lot of damage. I have to get rid of the fox to get it, but honestly, I like this axe more anyways. It just feels like it does more damage. The fox is faster, definitely, but I don't know. I feel like this is better. Pretty impressive, isn't it? You can really tell we're on the threshold of something really incredible. I just wish there weren't bodies all over the damn place. The celebration will be held on Monday in honor of national polymerization oh. and the launch of Collective 2.0. All the highest ranking members of the Communist Party will be here. I can fix all this by then. Well, I certainly oh. hope your optimism turns out to be justified. It will. You'll see. I won't let Dr. Sechenov down again. We're being celebrated. <laughs> or not, but it feels like we are, and I'll take it. Anything around here of value? Those two things can be interacted with. More locked doors. Who the hell keeps locking everything? And whoever he is, I bet he's got a goddamn combination lock on the John at home. These doors will be opened via a symbolic gesture during the ceremony. Symbolic? How? The system of mirrors will focus beams of light on the model of our solar system. Hanging above the entrance. I'll see what I can do. Hmm. So we got to turn them. I'm guessing we got to pull them back all the way. Uh, the mirror on the left isn't working. Something is jamming the mechanism and preventing the mirror from ascending. Got it. Looks like it's back to the basement for me. God damn it. Hey, wait, hold on. Is that supposed to happen? Open up. Oh, wait. Let go. All right. What the fuck? I like slid down here. No entry. And a skull and crossbones. That's encouraging. Where am I? The magnetic shock absorption system is located on this basement level. All the rooms here are full of mobile electromagnetic clusters. I can use an EMP on them. It's not going to kill me, is it? Let's hope not, Comrade Major. What? So I could get crushed by a falling wall of magnets? Theoretically speaking, that shouldn't happen, but this is merely a hypothesis. I've never been but. here before. Seriously? That's weird. Well, whatever. Okay, it's a good thing we went into that little house then. We know how all this stuff works already. We're ahead of the game. Sort of. Comrade Major, have you made it to the VDNH? Kinda. What's that supposed to mean? It means I'm kinda almost there. I'm in the magnetic shock absorption chamber, looking for a way to unlock the entrance doors. Can you open them for me? No. Yeah. I can't. I don't have the skills. This is your responsibility. Oh. Then get off my grill. What the fuck? Actually, no, we can't go up there. Okay, wait, what's that? This is where I came from, right? Yeah, I just missed that. Okay. Ah, and I fell. Fuck. Okay, let's go over here. Oh, wait, there's some stuff over here, though. Saw a little some some up there. Can't climb into a freaking freaking car, but that's okay. Uh, we climb over here. Oh, come on, almost there. Okay, that works. Mm. 
So all we have to do is climb up here. And we're here. Oh, wait. No, there's nothing over there. They have a, a an abundance amount of save points. And I'm just like, man, you could have just put in <laughs> like Those freaks and their goddamn mustaches again. You could have just put in uh quick saves. What you staring at, you metal dipshit? At this point, <laughs> they're pretty much the same. This shield is pretty OP. I mean, I wouldn't say OP because like fully OP just because it has a cooldown, but it's it's the closest thing to a block as we have in this game, so I like it. to make sure it's still recording another door without a lock <laughs> where's the relay charles i don't see anything on the walls i don't want a repeat of episode two hmm. okay so i have to electrify this door What's the point of this fucking maze anyway the magnetic shock absorption system was developed by scientists bottom two have to be University. Red. It's a very complex and comprehensive device that alters its configuration according to the situation. So it's plan B in case of a natural disaster. Among other things. But it is first and foremost a trial run of the magnetic shock absorption system. Here, we go. Here under Earth conditions, the system will be perfected so that it can be deployed in space. Cool. Science is power. There's no denying it. But we still need to find a way past all these goddamn magnets. <laughs> Fuck! I didn't mean to double jump. That's cool. At least I got this chest. And let's see what's over here. The fuck is that noise? Oh, it's you. Okay, that's not too scary. Music in this game is nice. I can't wait to play it without stream remote active. Which honestly, I don't really see the point of. <laughs> I have stream remote active, and my first video was still copyrighted. <laughs> so I'm just like, well, what the fuck? <laughs> One more. Climb over here. Climb over here. There we go. Wait, this door isn't open. There's something over there we have to press. Okay, you need to come down. Nope. We need to go up. Charles, what the hell does Molotov have against Dr. Sechenov? Why do you have to cook this commission up two days before the launch of Collective? Everything's ready. Exactly because everything <laughs> is ready. What do you mean? Are you trying to say that Molotov and his commission want to steal the fruits of Sechenov's labor two days before the launch? Indeed. The malfunction Patron caused is an excellent pretext for showing that Dr. Sechenov is incapable of overseeing Facility 3826, and by extension, the polymerization of the Soviet Union. What's the boss got to do with it? This is all Petrov's fault. He's the one who made the robots turn the facility into a heap of corpses. I'm afraid Comrade Molotov doesn't care how many victims there are. But neither does Comrade Sechenov. What? 
What the fuck are you talking about, Glove? The boss is doing everything he can to fix this. To be precise, Comrade Major, it's you doing everything you can to fix this, not Dr. Sechenov. But he's the one who sent me here. But why did he do that? Think about it logically. Comrades Sechenov and Molotov both have something to gain from preventing information about this terrible malfunction becoming known to the rest of the world. Because mm. no one would believe that a handful of traitors are responsible for the whole thing. Everybody would think that Soviet robots are dangerous. Quite right. But what conclusion should we draw from this? Only that, hypothetically, Comrades Sechenov and Molotov should both have a vested interest in ending this nightmare as quickly as possible. Isn't that right? Yeah. So what? We're seeing a common everyday power struggle. Instead of going to the government and having troops sent to facility 3826 to destroy the hostile robots, arrest Petrov, or end this in some other way, Dr. Sechenov is doing everything he can to conceal the tragedy from everyone, including the government. Mm. I like how he's making him question everything he's, he's like known. You know, such enough was like a father to him, and here he is going, yeah, he's kind of a piece of shit, though, you know, like. <laughs> Think. Yeah, we go here. Jump here. I don't like you. And you. That's what you get for being dead. That doesn't go down. We can go there. That goes down. Wait, that goes back up. How would that benefit us? I don't know how. But I feel like we're supposed to be here. Ah, that's why. And we go here. Jump here. I like the platforming. The too many people. Somebody could leak intel to the enemy, and then it's all over. But only reliable men could be sent to the facility, such as the Argentum unit loyal to Sechenov. They could team up with combat robots and restore order in the blink of an eye. But I don't need to tell you about that, do I? But that's, I mean, oh, crispy critters. I don't get it. Why does it have to be so complicated? <laughs> because Doctor Sechenov can't deploy troops or combat robots without the authorization of the Politburo. On the contrary, he's doing everything yeah, he me. can to make sure the government doesn't know what happened. Why do you think that is? Because his enemies would take collective away from him? Now, when everything's built and ready to go, and any asshole with a badge could run it. Quite right. It's all done. Just fix the malfunction and press a button. Geniuses, creators, and engineers have already done their jobs. All that's left to do is enjoy the fruits of their labor. In other words, Comrade Molotov wants to put Dr. Sechenov in jail over what happened here so he can take over the facility himself? To be exact, he wants to lead Collective. But how can he? Everybody's going to be equal there. Some will be more equal than others. Yeah, that's how they always get you. We're all equal, but if you're like this, well, you're a little bit more equal, all right? Mm-hmm. Um, crap. Actually, I think these need to be switched, huh? Oh, not these. Fuck. You. You need to be down here. And then you... Go up there. Nope, that makes no sense at all. What the hell was I thinking? Or... No, blue needs to be in the middle. I got it. There we go. You're getting more complicated. You know, I know that high-ranking Communist Party members will have more authority and collective than ordinary citizens, but that's fine. I mean, somebody's got to make big decisions, right? Is that so? Why, pray tell? Well, hmm. first off, somebody has to be responsible for carrying them out. It's not like everyone can be responsible for everything. Everyone means no one. Someone's got to take responsibility. The buck has to stop somewhere, right? And if the whole world did nothing but debate big decisions, no one would ever do anything. They'd spend all their time talking. But what if you're wrong? Mm -hmm. You say that the entire world would never stop discussing important decisions. Collective is a collective mind. Having merged into one, mankind will instantly know everything anyone wants to express. And in this singular collective, 
Responsibility will be determined not by fear of punishment, but by awareness. <laughs> Has anyone ever reached that level, even here in the USSR? We're not perfect, to say nothing of the rest of the world. Absolutely right. The world may not be ready for the launch of Collective. The Soviet Union's leaders understand this. That's why the party will have special discretionary authority within Collective. What's wrong with that? That's how it's always been. Has it really? Or has there always been one indisputable leader? A puppet master controlling the Politburo, the Council of Ministers, and all the rest. Are you trying to say there's gonna be one single leader in Collective? I'm trying to say that people will connect to Collective via a neuro-connector. You mean a thought device? Everyone knows that. The thought device is for ordinary citizens. But individuals in privileged leadership positions will have special engraved connectors that grant them a higher priority on the network. So even the leaders will be equal. That's a good thing, right? It would be. But I like this discussion. Be launched via the Alpha Connector. It's the key to everything, including assigning discretionary authority. So Dr. Sechenov has the Alpha Connector right now, and Comrade Molotov wants to kick him out of the facility so he can take the Alpha Connector for himself. Exactly. The number of people killed here as a result of Petrov's betrayal is a precious little concern to Comrade Molotov. He wants to take control of Collective. So this little thing is the reason everything's all jammed up? <laughs> this place is nuts. You can ascend to the surface along with the mirror. For once, you're right. I'd probably reach Nirvana before I could make it back down the way I came. That was, that was a cool discussion. You know, they're talking about, you know, different forms of government pretty much democracy versus communism and like has already left moscow they'll be here any minute now if the commission hasn't landed yet that means there's still time just let me work in peace shall i report to dr sechenov that it is his requests that prevent you from working yeah you can report on how you ran away from those robots on the maglev platform instead of helping i am not a soldier comrade major i am doing intellectual not menial labor Smashing robots is your specialty. The only labor you're doing is talking my ear off. Right now you're wasting my time and slowing down my mission. What? Nothing. Ah, uh, that's what I thought. Oh, uh, we need a schematic for this one. Okay. Yeah, that was a, that was an interesting discussion. Bringing in how, like, you know, in communist that's pretty much like what the downfall of communism was. Because, you know, everybody is supposed to be getting paid the same, you know? Everybody's supposed to get everything that they're entitled to. Yet, you still have the higher-ups in the government, you know, eating better and, you know, making all, all the rules, living in freaking mansions, and then they all up uprose against them and killed them. And, like, what, uh... Our main character, I forgot his name, wants is pretty much like a democratic or like a republic. Like it sounds like he says there needs to be people making the big decisions. And it's like, yeah, but you know, it, it's a, it's a interesting topic to talk about. Are you the same robot? I need to get into the exhibit. How do I open the door? All Terish Cobra models can transform their index fingers into keys. It's one hmm. of their basic functions. It looks like you lost your multi key. My forearms have been torn off by miscreants. Error. The required manipulative node is missing. The unlocking function cannot be initiated. Right. Where could she have lost her hands? I suggest you start searching this location. I don't know. Charles, what do the special neuro connectors for Collective look like? You know, the ones the government is supposed to get. The ones they will get look like thought devices, but in a golden diamond encrusted shell. <laughs> the scientists from Dr. Sechenov's team have already received different devices. Different? You mean there's going to be ones with different capabilities? According to Dr. Sechenov's plan, of course. bureaucrats and civil servants will receive fakes. Only the scientists Bro. will receive real connectors with discretionary authority. The boss is going to try to deceive the government? That's crazy. How do you know that? Where did you get your neuropolymer glove from, comrade major? What? You mean yourself? 
I got you from Dr. Sechenov. Exactly. Hold on. You mean he gave me his own glove? The fate of his life's work depends on the success of your mission. <laughs> he did ask me to be careful with you. So he is like the... He is the, the special one, pretty much. Use the special Neuralink thing. Hmm. Did you do this to that man? There we go. Alright. Oh, what now? An eternity looking at this worthless hunk of junk? The backstabbing machine that killed me? It's a phase, it'll pass. It's a phase, it'll pass. It's already passing. I can't even remember my own name anymore. Yeah. But his metal mug is still there. I still remember the bastard gutting me. They told us robots were going to replace us. As staff, I mean. Well, they certainly did. Only they did it by slaughtering us all. That's some replacement, isn't it? Oh, well. Yeah. Just leave me alone. I want to doze off. Oh, you're going to be dozing off, all right. Did you kill him? I'll leave you be. Like, those robots are the only ones that haven't, like, Turned evil, it seems. I wonder why. Excuse me. Dead bodies all over the place. What was that? Is that coming from this side of the door or the other one? Yeah, it's coming from this side. Oh, we just went all the way around. Here we go. Tereshkova's arm. What's that metal pervert doing with it? That is a robot waiter. Who's serving the people it killed? I'm gonna smash that fucking bot to bits. The robot isn't currently hostile. We should be able to retrieve the arm without a fight. Yeah, that's why I haven't been fucking with him. I feel like that's gonna come into play some sometime. <laughs> because I have yet to, to arm one at all. So that better give me some freaking good karma points or something. <laughs> I have yet to attack anything that hasn't harmed me unless it was a chicken. You walk so funny. There we go. Alright. Ow. You bastard. Alright, well, you attacked me first, so. Fuck that. There's no way I'm leaving that thing alive. You got hands. You got hands. What in the hell? Die. Oh shit. Oh shit. Hold on. We're good. We're good. Shield. We're good. Switch, maybe freeze. There you go. Uh. Shit. 
You're taking an... Actually, why aren't I using the Dominator? <laughs> Just a few seconds. Okay. Oh, this TV turned on. What in the hell? Is this a cartoon specially made for this game, or... Is this like a Russian cartoon that I'm not aware of? It looks like it's in the style like the Looney Tunes or some shit like that. Oh. Yeah, you aren't having a good time. Okay. Well, we got the arm. And I guess we just shove it inside the... the thingy. Huh? Huh? Do you think it's always a square? What if I just guess it? That would be so awesome. How does it work? Hold it up to my neurosensor contacts. Multi key activated. I would just take off the finger, honestly. You're not going to take that with you? You don't think that's going to be handy? No pun intended. Now what? Do you have health Thank by chance? Thank you for coming to my aid. Not having the key felt like I was missing a limb. One moment, please. Did we fix her or break her? The Tereshkova is a state-of-the-art model with a self-repairing system. A famous actress and cosmonaut contributed to its creation. I don't give two wet farts. <laughs> Much better. With your permission, I'd like to deliver a speech now. Greetings, uh, comrades, and welcome to the All Soviet Exhibition Center. What okay. the fuck are you babbling on about? What uh. speech? You're prancing past piles of dead bodies, and there's blood everywhere. My algorithms are glitching with horror. <laughs> my databases lack the verbal and visual tools required to express fear, horror, or other negative emotions. I like her. I was created to remain positive and optimistic, no matter what. The grotesque dissonance between my behavior and the gruesome surroundings grosses me out. But there's nothing I can do about it. Uh, I see. I, I like her. Nobody expected I would this keep her. Happen. Okay, bot. Set the VDNH to drill mode. Drill mode? This would lead to even greater aggression from passive and physical security systems. It will endanger you and may lead to death of the surviving people, assuming there are still any left. Exactly. If there are any left, this place is a fucking graveyard. Now follow my damn order, bot. You have given me a most peculiar command. All people in this complex have been killed by robots, but you are unharmed. Mm -hmm. This arouses suspicion. Prove that you are a human. I will not follow the orders of a robot pretending to be one. And I'm covered how am in blood. I supposed to do that? Commit seppuku? You must pass the Darwin test. The this Darwin will prove test. That you are a human. What the fuck? What test? How about I just rip your head off, huh? Without her help, activating drill mode will take too much time. I gladly confirm this information. Fine. Knock <laughs> yourself out. Hit me with this damn. Darwin test of yours. What am I supposed to do? Prove that you are human. Is it like the, the follow one? Put three items on this pedestal that represent the three main values of a Soviet citizen. Art, labor, and life. Crispy critters. Now I gotta deal with another crazy ass lock. Fuck, I'm a magnet for annoying bullshit. <sighs> I'm gonna put my quantum harmonizer in your, what is it, your resonation chamber. What would you say back? Oh, I got a radio. Ooh, I, I do want to visit you. Please select the desired procedure. Mm, we got a lot to upgrade. Probably gonna do my shields. Ooh. And energy management. Energy density? What does that do? I can't. I guess we already have that one. 
All right. Yeah, and let's focus on Frostbite since I've been using that one a lot. Uh, we don't have anything. Oh, we can. Oh, yay. More health is always good. And next, yeah, we're going to be focusing on Frostbite and I guess Shock since that's also a different button. But this poly Polymer Jet, I haven't really been using. But the shields are definitely coming in, coming in clutch. Please select the desired procedure. And this, we have enough to build that, but I don't really want to. I'm going to wait, save my resources for something else. I do kind of want to get this one just because it's the freaking uh, the weapon that's on the poster. It has to be good. But we got to wait, wait to get the blueprint for it. All right, we got to go on a fetch quest. Find the symbols of the motherland. The symbol, the sprout. Can we not leave this this area? Because I just realized I picked up a radio and one of them went away. Oh, that's my freaking mouse. I was wondering why I keep showing up. I pressed our what on him? Hey. Is he supposed to be talking to me? This thing scuffed? Is this the sprout? You have to stand on it? Alright, we got that. Uh, sorry bud. You seem important, but nothing happened when I interacted with you, so I'm going to just continue on. Stand here. And the hammer. Hi. I would totally want a robot like her in my house. Just always positive. So That would be great. <laughs> About this Darwin test. Yes, I am always happy to help, Major. Here you go. Yeah. This is as alive as it gets around here. Hear the springs, cheerful hymn. Be yourself, strive and earn. Life, I love you and hope you love me in return. Oh, shut your face, you dumbass toaster. I'm sorry. All this chaos is causing my emotional algorithms to malfunction. Oh, she's going insane. Just watch your fingers. Huh? The hammer is <sighs> Put something cheerful on, mm. would you? It kind of feels like the end of the world right now. Radio of the future! Astonishing music generated by the state of the art quantum supercomputer based on the preferences and tendencies of the modern performers. The theory of relativity claims. These are the songs that the citizens of the future will be listening to. But the citizens of today are already listening to it. Doesn't that mean this is going to be the music of the past once we actually get uh, it? Oh, you're going to fry your brain. Nobody's going to write it 30 years from now because it already exists. The music of the future could change every second. Well spotted. You have discovered a yeah, temporal paradox. paradox. How very observant you are. The music of the future shapes the music style in the present. However, the superposition of the observer and the information being perceived are located <laughs> she moves so weird. in a self-consistent loop. In layman's terms, we are always listening to the music of the future and determining what it is going to be like at the same time. Oh, shit. If that's layman's terms, I'd hate to hear the complicated explanation. I'm getting a fucking headache here. Pioneer Nichayev, you passed the Darwin test with flying colors. Yay. What do you want to be when you grow up? A cosmonaut. What a splendid <laughs> career choice. I would... Well, I would I'd rather enjoy your attention, Major. Now, how can I help you? Going to space you sounds freaking leak or something. I need horrifying. to announce a drill and put the VDNH into drill mode. 
Unfortunately, this is beyond my ability. Are you what? making my fucking chain? But I can provide you with a solution. You see, a single robot cannot engage the military drill mode. Such procedure requires the presence of two robots instead of one. So where do I find another obnoxious metal dipshit? <laughs> Before that dreadful nightmare, the information hall was staffed by the two of us. But during the failure, the berserking robots took my partner, Claire, apart. No, no. Did they scatter her all over the complex or Bro. something? Bro. Precisely. Oh, How did my you God. know, dear comrade? Call it a hunch. Do I have to scour the entire VDNH for her parts? Plug the administrative control drive into me so I can tell you where the pieces of poor Claire currently are. Well, that sure beats looking for him blind. So where's the administrative control drive? I'm running out of time. Please follow me. This whole game is just a bunch of like fetch quests. Go this here, pick up three things. Monstrous. Now the four things. Must have completely lost their minds. They couldn't have given you guys better hair. Like even a wig, just this freaking weird helmet bowl cut thing. And then you have like Frieza jeering ears, you know, like. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the face isn't, you know, oh god, what the hell? I didn't know the eyes moved. I thought it was like a puppet face. Like, the, the eyes were just locked straight forward, but... Nope, she was looking at me with the side of her eyes. That's pretty creepy. <laughs> oh my, would you look at this? Helping kill Helping lumberjacks and first responders is such a noble goal. But you, how do you use the arms our creators have given you? Like a primitive animal. Like a beast to crush and dismember. Are you gonna betray us? What the hell? And Bro. this one. It just stands there buck naked as if nothing were wrong. Have you no Did it just move? robot publicly exposing no. your iridium compactor? You do realize he didn't do it himself, right? Oh my, that's a mess. And who, I wonder, will have to clean it up? I should dispatch the cleaners this instant. Hey man, Wait, say what you will. I like her. That I like the, the positivity. I brain today. You better not come to life. Oh, I I'm ready. Envy you, humans. you can just pick up a razor and shave that horrible monstrous mustache off. But this one... You're not even a machine, you nitwit. You're just an imitation, a caricature, a piece of lab equipment. Pardon the outburst. It's just that one of them used to try to... Oh, well, let's change the subject. Is it just me or does she feel sentient? Is she tricking There's us? There's a wide range of the lab tech models. The ones in black turned out to be especially vicious. They've been using their harmless built-in range-finding laser to pick off humans from a eyes. distance. How did it ever come yeah, to Yeah, they're this? turning. Just so you know, the Black Lab Tech specialization is determined by the software package encoded within a specially constructed Kinetico Scholar Neurogel capsule. You can salvage this package from one of the defeated Black Lab Techs, provided its capsule is still in one piece. What? I didn't understand a single thing you just said. You're an assistant, Tereshkova. Talk human. Tuh. Shocking. You have no sense of decency. I gather you've already met Nora, the monstrous mm -hmm. repair vendor who's subjecting humans to unimaginable deadly torture. It pains my algorithms to have to send you into her bloody clutches, but we have no choice. She's the only mechanism capable of utilizing this capsule to upgrade your weapons. Yeah, yeah. Move your ass, Tereshkova. We're in a hurry. Jeez. On my way, comrade. If I was Tereshkova, I would have kicked him in the nuts. At least once or twice by now. You. You're the ones that are attacking us now. Oh, who's a good boy? Who's the sweetest, silliest, chubbiest little boy, you little goo? You don't attack people even when you're in combat mode because you're such a <laughs> little sweetie, isn't that right? Aren't you precious? 
Is that why they don't attack? Because like even if they're in combat mode, they don't attack anybody. It's just like when you meddle are, with them, comrade. the when they start attacking. Drive should be at this booth. Please establish the connection. Um, the hell are you? What the fuck? Only. Try to be gentle, comrade major. I oh, she's have on her very knees. Very delicate internals. Oh, what just snapped? <laughs> Relax, uh. lot. That's my joints cracking. Oh gosh. Ah, does this look all right? Administrator level rights granted successfully. What now? I'm opening the door to the atrium for you. Search each of the complex's floor and find my dear Claire. I'll be in touch over the radio. As soon as you reach a floor, I'll scan it for my poor friend's parts. Most of her is on the ground floor. Please put her back together again. Okay, are her eyes twirling? What the heck? She's so creepy. Oh, hi, Nora. I guess we got to talk to you. Fading data. Okay, clear the unit on the... Okay. I hope she stays our companion. It would suck if she died. It's like a palace. Talk about class. Let me just drink it all in. Attention, BDNH staff. Visiting hours will begin in 15 minutes. Oh my goodness. Please conclude all maintenance and proceed to your workstation. So we gotta head down and fight all these guys on the way down. <laughs> Sorry. Actually, I just thought about it. This and the Dominator share ammo, so there's no point in even using that one. There is a bunch of them. Those are definitely going to hit me if I run into them. Hey. Wait, this goes back up. No, I need to keep going down. Oh. I just take those stairs all the way down. I thought they would like, you'd go down this one, then you had to go across. Go down the other ones, etc., etc. Oh, you want some? Come on, Mike. Everybody. Go in there. Oh, fuck. Are you still alive? Jesus. I hit him how many times?
Oh, fuck. Alright, well, I'm here. Okay. Oh, shit. I can't believe that worked. They just started exploding. so bad like I really gotta hand it to this freaking shoe robot whatever it is without it I probably would be dead even supposed to look I swear on my cooling unit these mustached perverts must have dragged her into the maintenance room I'm on my way well, I feel him I feel him is are they the ones that have been putting these like dummies in compromising positions is that like what we're supposed to take away from this This place used to be really nice until everybody got killed. It is a most tragic sight. I was just in there, right? Oh, looks like I missed something. There's a cella. Save station. Just like a display one, okay. Hmm. It's one of these. So you gotta be there. You gotta be one over. is going on here two ways to go hey this is new you may need to apply spatial reasoning here there's no may about it these locks of yours are really something you know that yep. fading data mm, you look so focused honey are you thinking about me? Buzz off, I'm working on my equipment. I hope you're not thinking about that nasty doctor slut. Who? What are you even talking about? 
<laughs> there we go. Hey, Charlie. Why couldn't they just put regular, more reliable locks everywhere? Like with codes and shit? I suspect it's because if they had, anyone who hacked the code would be able to open the locks without authorization. Yeah, but now anyone who solves the puzzles can get through. In other words, pretty much anybody. Mm. Come on. Jesus. I dodged. <laughs> I slid out the way too and he still hit me. <laughs> Bro, I got freaking shields and shit. Those are definitely real. But they're trapped behind that wall, so let me take out this guy first. Up. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that tends to happen when you get double teamed. <laughs> this way. Nope, not getting me again. Alright, now we just need to worry about the baton one. You have to make it up here first. There he is. I got a shield too. pull out your heart too all right this is another one where you have to get it right charles what do the special neuro connectors from sectionov's team look like the special neuro connectors have the greek letter gamma on them and are shaped like bracelets they are worn on the right arm gamma what happened to beta or are those the fake connectors you told me about the fake connectors do in fact have the letter beta on them but the beta connectors were real hmm. at first uh I don't get it. The first experimental prototypes of the neuro connectors with discretionary authority were called beta connectors. There were only two of them, and Dr. Sechenov designed them to look like rings. So, what happened to them? After the necessary experiments were complete, Dr. Sechenov removed these rings from the list of special neuro connectors. Enhanced gamma models shaped like bracelets were then made for the scientists, one for each member of his team. Okay, there are only seven of those gamma connectors? For Vavilov, Korolyov, Kurchatov, Lebedev, Pavlov, Filomonenko, and Chelome? Indeed. With his accent, it sounds so funny saying those names. God damn it. Like, I definitely have to get up there, right? There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Unless I just have to go down here. Oh. But then, how in the fuck do I get back up? Do it again. That 
gets blocked off and now oh this will provide us with a way of getting up there gotcha jump so easily in this game <laughs> yeah like as soon as you jump forward you're jumping forward even if you hold back you're not going back you're not halting momentum nothing which i guess doesn't happen in real life but like still in most first person shooters that's usually what happens <laughs> jumped here. Stuck on. Hmm. Okay, one left. Adding one or two of these isn't that bad, but I feel like yeah. when they start adding a bunch of the variants, man, that, that, that gets difficult. But it's a good thing I still have the shotgun. The shotgun's pretty powerful. Save point somewhere. Thank <laughs> you. 
Which one do I need for this one, though? that noise. Can't go back up there. Can't jump up there. Yes. I don't really know how this is going to help. I just know we can do it. Ah, uh, that's how. Oh. Jesus Christ. You have reached the facility service rooms, Major. One of my dear Claire's legs is most certainly there. Yeah, the truth is out there, right? Oh! He didn't much care for that. Uh, I'm stuck. Yeah, you're just gonna have to kill me because I was stuck. <laughs> I've never seen bots like these before. This robot is very dangerous in melee combat. Uh, oh, so that's why I'm getting my ass hit. Uh. Uh. Oh, okay, good. I can just cheese them from up here. Oh, man. Robots are definitely getting harder. Mine. Charles, I've never seen Dr. Sechenov wearing a bracelet before. Does his Alpha Connector look different? Indeed it does. His device is unique. And its shape and location are one of Dr. Sechenov's deepest secrets. So his Alpha Connector must be really well guarded. Who's watching it, Argentum? Entrusting humans with the connector would be far too risky. It's guarded by Dr. Sechenov's personal bodyguards. You mean the ballerina twins? The way they uh. move. They're so graceful and elegant. They kind of remind me of something. Is that so? What exactly, Comrade Major? I don't know. Something... something good. Okay. So not only do we have to find four different Here's parts for do yourself a pair thing. We gotta find we'll all of them and then reconnect them. Oh. I thought you guys had self-repairing stuff on you. All these better not be that long. <laughs> Like, I like this game, but I just don't like repetitive quests, you know? Doing the same shit. Doing the same. All right, go here. Okay, now you got to find four things to progress, you know? Like... Scanning cycle. Module. Limb. Arm. Right. 
found. Location, Vavilov floor. Transmission obstructed. Ooh. Incomplete. <sighs> That's the big boy. The hold up. Why can't we locate the module this time? I'm afraid I can't help you. There's some kind of interference on this floor. Possible sources of interference include electromagnetic shielding or the presence of a large, elongated object. A large, elongated object? That sounds odd. Yeah, you're from the trailers. You're wow. that digging machine. A thing in here. And lots of little fuckers. Yep. Okay, so there's no point in fighting. That's that's what you're telling me. I gotta shut those things off first. What the hell? How am I supposed to play Snake? While also being attacked by you fucks. Where are those cellas at? I hear one. I wonder where the shotgun does that. Like when you press reload, it reloads three bullets, but if you press it again, it'll reload a fourth. It's like, why doesn't it just do that automatically? What am I supposed to do with this? I see you. If this thing comes to life, man, we're kind of screwed. Oh, they're, they're two. Oh, even better. Okay. Yeah, it's snake. But very slow. I'm not sure if that's better or worse, honestly. I mean, I like playing snake when it's faster. I don't know. It feels better. This, it feels like it's easy to fuck up. No one. Holy you didn't even have to. Fuck, oh! Is that the process I just activated? Dude. Where? Bro. Hey, hey, what the hell are you doing, damn it? We're gonna die. Oh. <laughs> He's a lot calmer than me. You scared the ever-living fuck out of me. That was close. Well, whatever. I got the arm. Oh. This looks like the right one. Let's go find the rest. Oh, I can't. I have to kill them all first. Okay.
guys need to die. Well, all of you, honestly, but you specifically. Okay. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I can't move. Okay. Ugh. You guys need to die. There we go. You need to die too. How many are there? yellow thing is when they're vulnerable okay what the fuck annoying I just burned through all my ammo trying to do that to get a lot of parts and shit but like still Charles why did the boss take the real beta connectors out of commission were they defective not entirely Dr. oh even more yeah that's what i needed a need for discretionary authority within collective this thing so open? the boss wanted total equality but molotov's schemes changed his mind perhaps okay so comrade major what do you mean perhaps dr sechenov wanted equality for everyone there can be no question of that but consider this the alpha connector existed from the very beginning maybe the boss wasn't planning to use the alpha connector's power he just needed it to long yeah okay first arm's good Like these enemies just don't stop. Like they said, oh, you just got through killing a bunch of us. Well, here's some more. <laughs> and I hate 
hate that these ones are melee proof. What am I supposed to do? Like you can't pay attention to one without paying for it because they're over there attacking. You know what? Yeah, let me use this strat again. There we go. Oh fuck, it's working on me too. There we go. Come on, man. What if I run over here? He's gonna have to. He's gonna have to come over here. There we go. dead yet. They were just like glitched. There we go. That's the strat now. Every time they, they like try to rush me like that, I'm gonna just take them right there. <laughs> Here, can you move? I'll get you moving too. Look at me. Come on. There we go. Over here. Oh, too far. Too far, buddy. There we go. Isn't that better? Isn't that better? third level ha! he did it to himself oh shit Save me. <laughs> All right. The heck is this thing is just floating. That's what I was also wondering. Like, how the hell does things just float in this universe? Like the the statues and all that. Also, I just realized I've been recording for an hour and a half. <laughs> I'm in that episode right there. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're greatly appreciated, I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay safe, everybody. Bye-bye. I see you rolling up over black Cadillac High heel boots and a sexy body full of tats Baby's bad, oh baby's hella bad After her there ain't no coming back Wanna take a run at that I think
think she's feeling me Turn it up a few degrees My imagination of her body gets the best of me Oh gosh, she's such a tease Bitten lips, bruised knees I'm addicted to her, need her touching me Cause she got a bad little waist And we tearing down this place Off the liquor that we chase Casamigos to the face, baby, I don't need no